Okay, this is Wilson. I'm uh, here on at Jehovah Jireh Farm today, and uh, Joel here is going to show us a uh, refractometer. How it works. So basically, what we do is we have a grape leaf here, and we take the uh, leaf and bunch it up, put it right in this nice little tool here, and crush it. I may have to adjust this a little tighter. What we're trying to do here is get the sap out of this grape leaf. And then what are we what are we looking for? And we're going we want this number to be at least 12. The higher the better. All right, here we go. Getting drop of sap there it comes. Push that over onto the lens of the refractometer and shut it. Hmm. And then I just hold this thing up and look through it. And this leaf was about an eight and a half. And we're shooting for? 12 at least. 12. And now explain to me the connection between the sugar and the health of the, of the plant and its uh, predators and things like that. Well, there's, as you can see here, we're having some problem with Japanese beetles. If we could get this grapevine up to at least 12 bricks or higher, mm -hmm all day, all night, the Japanese beetles should leave. Wow. And um, the, there's two things. One is that the sugars go down to the root and pull up minerals from the soil and yep. transport them into the grape. The other thing is that the, in the production of sugar, the phosphate that's needed to make the sugar also is needed to bring minerals into the plant. So the higher the sugar content, the higher the mineral content of, in this case, the grapes, or it could be grass, it could be carrots, or whatever. And so the soil is not just something to hold up the plant. We're trying to feed the soil That's so right. the plant can take care of itself and defend itself. That's right. That's awesome.